We can also use NCOTH to create fabric-based objects, even if they're not going to deform throughout the scene. So I'm going to use NCOTH just to create a crumpled napkin. So I will select this plane that I've created. I made it 30 by 30 spans and go to NCOTH, create NCOTH, and I'll select my table and make it the passive collider. If I hit play, it's going to crumple pretty quickly. Now we want to make sure that our playback speed is play every frame max real time. So I'm going to hit play and try to pause it a few frames in. So that one's not bad. If I scrub forward one frame at a time, I can start to find the frames that I like the way the wrinkles look. So maybe frame eight. So that's one option. I could select it and I can hit control D and it will duplicate my plane as it is currently deformed. Now, even though if I continue to play, the the original piece of fabric would just simulate again and again. Now I have a separate piece of mesh that is permanently in this deformed shape. I'm just gonna hide it, control H, and continue to simulate and see if I get some better results. Now one of the things we can do to change the way this simulation is happening to get other results is just changing the preset. If I change this to heavy denim, then I definitely get a different wrinkle solution. And the way I change this will also give us other options. I can also increase the drag and the dampening to make the simulation happen a little slower and more sluggish. Again, we can play around with all sorts of different options until we find the one we like. Let's try maybe burlap. Well, that one's not it. Let's try a different preset. Maybe silk. So I think silk is looking pretty good maybe around frame eight. So I'm just carefully dragging one frame at a time. And then I have that, I can hit control D. And so I'm just getting different examples of simulations on this fabric. I'll go ahead and hide this one as well. And I'll continue to simulate from different angles to try to see if I get a better result. Now I can also select the table and add more friction to the table and maybe even more stickiness. And what that's going to do is keep it from sliding around as much. Now that's a little too much. So I'll pull back on that stickiness a little bit and maybe on the friction as well. And then we can re-simulate again and get a little bit of a different result. Control D. And so now I have several different napkin options. The next thing I want to do though is because I don't want this napkin simulating over and over and over again, I need to delete all of the nucleus objects in this scene, so all I'm left with is my duplicated napkins. To do that, I'll select the N rigid one, the N cloth one, the nucleus object, and the original plane, and I'll just delete those objects. You can also sometimes delete these by going to edit, delete all by type, and choosing, and choosing in cloth, in particles, and in rigids. Now we have three different napkin choices. If I select these and hold Shift H, I can choose from the three different napkins 
or I can use more than one. I think I like this one most right now. And so I'll move it over here somewhere off to the side. behind our cereal box. And then I'll move this one off screen and maybe keep this wrinkled one a little closer as well. <laughs> 